My name is Dirk Laubscher. Uh, I've been a physiotherapist for over the last 10 years, um, working in Harley Street for the last six. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, the causes and the management of back pain. A guide to um, upper right back pain. Um, if you look at the, the back um, and you look at the upper right, right side, what you have there is the connections of your ribs to your spine. Um, so basically you've got the middle part of your back. Um, all right, so this would be your right side. And it's basically here where the ribs attach to the spine. Okay, and also you get your shoulder blade um, that's there. So that could be a few, uh, there could be a few things that causes pain there again. Um, with, with a lot of pain, generally in the upper back, doesn't matter if it's in the middle or on the right or the left side, um, it's almost the same causes, which would be, um, again, bad posture, uh, people sitting too long, lack of extension, lack of movement, um, rounded shoulders, um, computer work, um, reading a lot. It's all the forward, forward movements. Um, and again, lack of rotation and, and, and movement. And what happens, again, like I, like I explained before, is those joints where the ribs attaches to the spine, they get stiff, they don't move with the rest of the body, and because they don't move, um, you'll get the muscles reacting that runs over them, um, causing them to spasm up. Um, again, when the muscle spasms up into a little ball, um, it's, a, it's a very hyperactive um, a muscle continuously contracting, which, which, which can be very painful. Usually, um, these people complain of like a stabbing, burning pain um, right there, sorry, the right side, okay. It's usually trigger points. Now again, trigger points, like I said, is um, very tight areas um, in the muscle uh, where you get built up of toxins. And again, that can refer pain as well to other parts um, of the body, even up in the neck and down to the shoulder. And um, so if you're looking at, at, the, at the causes of upper right back pain, um, Again, like I said before, it's usually posture related, um, sitting, working on a computer, in a very bad posture, never moving this part of your, of your back, never going up, uh, and it's usually the, uh, the joints that stiffen up, causing the, the muscles to spasm up um, into little, very tight, very painful tender, tender balls, um, uh, hard balls, and um, uh, causing pain, usually in the upper right back, and even sometimes going up. Uh, into the neck. As well as bad posture, again we get deformities, like I said before, kyphosis, which is a, you know, a, a, a more curvature of the, of the upper back, and also a scoliosis, where you get the sideways bending um, of, the, of the spine. All right, so just to recap, a guide to upper right back pain, um, or the causes of it. Uh, again, there's a few things. It's posture, bad posture actually, um, sitting, working on the computer, you know, slouched over and um, putting strain on that part of your back. Um, it's a lack of extension. Um, again, that could be even walking like this or sitting like this, slouching from the television uh, and a lack of rotation. All right, that part of your, the upper part of your back is very, it's very vital that you, that it turns because that's when you get maximum relief and mobilization of that area. Okay, because it's a very stiff area. Um, and then also the deformities that I spoke about was the kyphosis, is when the upper back, if you look from the side, um, instead of um, having a sort of a natural curve, you know, you get a uh, accentuated um, curve. It's very stiff and also a scoliosis, which means um, it's a curvature of the spine in an S-shaped form. Okay, again, causing, uh, that can cause pain um, on, on the right-hand side of, of your back.